and now we're going to use solve for solving the parameters let me in order to review quickly let me put the surfaces uh, again surface one surface two surface one lens one surface one is two radio of curvature we put 200 for radio of curvature of surface 2 we put negative 200 for the thickness we put 6 for the material in pk7 the clear summary diameter we can change it for the stuff is it should be 25 and change everything to 25 is okay and for we can do quick focus So right now the system is at focus. Let me just look at one field. Okay. Right now we are looking at just uh, the main field, which is at the center. So let me, okay. We can add one dummy surface also. Insert a dummy surface. The thickness is with 10. The settings and one dummy surface. Okay. Right now, we want to see the performance of the system. Uh, based on our calculation, which was a approximation, the effective focal length should be 200. But right now, the effective focal length is 193. So in order to find a solution, we can click on this rectangle. We usually use the last radius of curvature. We click on this one and click on this menu go to f number so the focal length of uh, based on the spec is 200 and the in trans pupil diameter is 5 is 50 millimeter so f number is effective focal length divided, divided by aperture diameter which is 200 divided by 50 so it should be 4 i'm going to put a number here 4 when i put 4 here you can see the effective focal length right now is exactly 200 so I can again quick focus the system. Now the system is at focus and the effective focal length is at 200. When we zoom into the focus point, we can see because of aberration is not completely sharp at focus, but because this is a simple lens, both radio of curvature is not the conic shape. So we have a lot of uh, spherical aberration. So this is the way that we use for solving. We can, for example, uh, change the thickness of the lens. Also, all the parameters we can do pick up. Uh, let's say the thickness of the lens uh, is six millimeter. We can uh, fix it or we can change it to variable. Then, then uh, we can uh, make this parameter as a variable for our optimization that we're going to talk about it uh, in the next lesson.